Oh, 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 it's you from school. How are you? Oh, what's your name again? Uh, Rebecca? No. Michelle? No. Uh, what was it? Remind me, remind me. I don't know. No, we went to school I together, don't, don't worry. I don't remember Yeah, you. when I go in class, you were like sitting in the back throwing things and stuff. I was not yeah, doing that. Yeah, it was definitely you. What, no. What's your name again? Anastasia. That's it. I knew it. Really? Yeah, What is yeah. your name? Richard. You remember me? Anyway, it's cool. We went to school together. So <laughs> really? That's the nice thing. Are you going to introduce that's me to your friends? a little bit creep, you know? Creepy? Yeah, because he's sitting, coming up here, sitting yeah. next to us and saying, oh, telling us we're, we babe, went to school together. Babe, we went to school for years together. So it's Hard, like don't call already... me babe, all right? So well, I don't really know you, you look know? Look Do you know mate. this guy? Look class, mate. You know, we went to school for you know, years. Please. Stop, stop being creepy and please leave us. Are we leave us. the school with us as well? No, I think no. you were. No, no, no. Just yeah, we're kind of in the middle of conversation. No. Well, now I'm in the middle of you. No, I don't think so. Mm, you're not very friendly, are you? No. It's kind of rude, isn't it? I'm just being Maybe. sociable. All right. I won't see you at the school reunion. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Have you seen him anymore? Yeah. No, I don't know. Such an old line, you know? That's so boring. You know? Such a creep. We should get out of here, I don't know. I don't like this place. Yeah, we should go. Too. You know how in court the lawyer never asks a question or says something that might lead somewhere that he's not prepared for? Well, it's the same like this. When you're giving her an opportunity to say no and dismiss you, it's usually a bad thing, so bad choice there. Maybe we should go for a place. Hey girls, yeah, sorry, okay. excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh, yes, okay. okay, good. Right, mm. what it is, is um, tomorrow's my best friend's birthday uh -huh. and she's a girl and she looks kind of similar to you, you know, kind of stylish and stuff. And I want it, she loves fashion. So I want to get her okay. something, you know, like something to do, like jewelry or clothes, stuff. You, you know. want to buy her a present? Yeah, yeah, yeah I okay. want to get her a present. She's just, she's just a friend, yeah. but I want to get her something really cool. She's a good friend. What do you think? Um, maybe you can give her a coupon, like a gift card to mm -hmm. uh, some store. I don't like know. Zara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Zara, I don't know. Right? Depends on what she likes. Yeah, she likes clothes and stuff. Yeah, so maybe the gift card would work for her. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good choice. Yeah, you know, she's a really good friend of mine. We met like, um, I don't know, three, four years ago. And oh, she always okay. gets me really nice presents for my birthday. So Like what? I'll, well, she's always so creative. Uh, she sent me like to painting classes one oh. time. Um, another time she That's had business cards printed for me because I didn't have any and they were kind of funny and cool. Like always really, really interesting. So I wanted to get her something nice. And, you know, she's a very fashionable girl. She always likes shopping and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I know that it's like her favorite area. So I should definitely get her something to do with fashion and clothes yeah. and stuff. And, you know, I saw you and she's kind of, you know, something similar to both of you, like kind of your hair okay. color. But then kind of similar eyes to, to you uh, and your, what's that? Like yeah. a mix of us? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. So that's why I thought you were the right girls to ask about it. So you think I should get her a voucher, yeah? Um, maybe, but you can also buy her a workshop for like a styling something, ah, you know? That's good. Maybe because you just that. said she did the same for you. Yeah, 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 yeah she did. This one. Yeah, maybe that's better because then she doesn't know how much it costs. And then I could send yeah. her. Well, I don't know what days she's free, but I guess I could just get like a general one and then she calls up and says when she's free and she can book it herself. But I've already like uh, paid. It depends and, on her, you know. Well, 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 um, and what, we... do you know any website or something? Oh, like? no, maybe you should no. Google it. Yeah, Okay, yeah, I can sorry, Google I it know. as well. Google's good. 
Can we always use Google. help you? Yeah, you've been very helpful. Yeah, thank All you right. for that. All right, no and problem. We just like been we haven't seen together like, for a long time. Yeah, for so a long you time. You get so. catching up and stuff. Yeah, okay, well, can we? Look, I could take your number and then I'll text you to say whether she liked it or not, and then you oh. know whether it was a good idea. I'm fine. Thank you. I know I'm you're fine. very fine. <laughs> so that's why we could keep in touch. What do you think? No, I'm alright. Thank you. Yeah, you're alright. Yeah. I know you're alright. <laughs> no, That's why... I have a boyfriend. Ah, okay. boy. Oh, no, yeah. not again. Okay, well, look, it was lovely to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet and you. Good just... luck. Thank you. No See problem. you. Bye. Bye. Mm. Another one. <laughs> So important when you've got this kind of opener that you get off it at some point. So don't stay on the subject, you should have transitioned out of there. Oh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. No problem. I think she'll like that, yeah. So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Nice to oh, that's meet a you. nice name. I am. Oh, thank you. That's a good name too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a, like... Old English name from oh, yeah? kings and stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's correct, because, you know, I've trained guys all over the world and I see them getting into these kind of present openers, opinion openers, and staying on that subject for five minutes until it dies out and then they have to get out, out of there. So it's very important to transition quickly and a nice way to do it is just to introduce yourself and get their names. So how do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like university. Well, when you were, ah, yeah, university. Yeah, college. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm. And uh, so you were in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, we studied different classes. Okay, let me guess. So I <laughs> think that you studied fashion <laughs> and I think you studied drama. Is that exactly right? No, no. opposite. <laughs> The opposite. So oh, you opposite. studied fashion and she studied no. drama. No, no. I studied economics. Uh -huh. Yeah, I studied business. Okay. Yeah, so it no, has nothing, nothing to do with drama and fashion. Not really. Not really. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do in here. Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't think so. I think, I think they study no. Instagram. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Wait, did you do well at university? You got good grades? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Well done. <laughs> You'll notice that in the interactions, we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done, making the girl feel good with things that are teasy or challenging. And in this case, it's something that they've worked hard on. It's an achievement. So why not say well done, you know, and give them some validation there for that. So how long have you guys known each other? For so long. Yeah, 40, 42 years? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Seven years. Something. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like I don't, you look very young. Oh, thank joking. you. <laughs> Relief. And you know what? I would guess that she's like the crazy one, yeah? And I think you're the sensible one. So she's getting drunk and you're like, look, chill, come on, let me get you home. Is that right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Depends, yeah. You know, it depends. Don't be shy. <laughs> she can go crazy. And she's the shy one as well, that's cool. Yeah, she is. <laughs> a little bit. Nice. And who's the one who, like, um, who gives good advice out of you two? Or who's the one who has problems and then who's the one that gives advice? Uh, we're girls, we always have problems. Of course, yeah. <laughs> we're both, like, I think she's more. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I would say we're equal, kind of. Mm -hmm. You know, I noticed you from over there. Oh, yeah? But, yeah, but when I got closer, I just noticed you have the most amazing eyes. Oh, that's so sweet. I've never heard that before. Oh, really? Great. Actually, I've heard many heard. times. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, it must be true. Well, maybe. I don't know. He gave her a compliment that she's heard a billion times before. Try and think of something original and don't say it too early. And have you two ever done the best friends test? 
Have you done it? Uh, no. no. All right, let's do it right now. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, you don't even need to tell me. You've already passed the best friends test because best friends, they communicate unconsciously. So when you ask people, oh. yeah. <laughs> If people are very good, you just did it again. So if people are really good friends, they always kind of look and then, you know, give the answer if someone okay. asks them something. And yes. if you weren't good friends, you just answer directly. But it's like you're communicating something. Yeah, there you go. There you go again. Because just by the, way, the look in the eyes, you communicate so much when you know I've each other very well. I've never paid attention on this. Oh, pay attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely true. Maybe I would do this kind of test. Yeah, try it. <laughs> There you go again. Yeah. <laughs> stop counting. All right, I'll stop. This will work. It's a you know, famous PUA routine. If you learn it, it's something you can go out and use in the bars and clubs. I've seen it work all over the world. And so you can do it. It's just a routine. So it's a bit, you know, it's a bit lame. Um, in some ways to have something prepared. But if you want to guarantee having conversations with girls, then learning a few of these things is a nice way to get your social skills up and get comfortable talking to beautiful women because they are very engaging. So what were you doing before you came here? We went for dinner. Ah, uh, dinner, nice. Where'd you go, Italian? Or... <laughs> no, we had some fast food. Yeah, like burgers and fries. I woke up like, I think 10, I think it was like 12, 10, 10, 12, yeah, just after 10. And I didn't get up immediately, but then I got up and I went to the, um, to the other room. I've got um, television and I've got PlayStation. So of course mm -hmm. I was playing, I was playing a new Assassin's Creed game. Do you play that? No. Oh, it's really cool. You've got to try So you're like this guy and do you know Assassin's Creed in general? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like killing people, running around and stuff. Yeah. And I'm on the last level, so I've got like three memory sequences left. And I'm trying to get all the trophies in it, so it's going mm -hmm. really well. So um, is that your interest? Yeah, but that was just like two hours. Then um, I had some food, because I don't like eating immediately when I wake up. So I just had some food, had a bath. And while I was in the bath, I, I listened to an audio book. Um, Listen to this one, what is it called? Uh, Evolution of Everything, really mm -hmm. interesting. Um, about, I don't know, everything from science to economics and whatever, okay. so it's really cool. Um, and what did I do after that? It's, it was hot today, right? So I went for a walk in the park. I saw my mum. Nice, had some, uh, did I have a snack? Yeah, I had a cake. I had a cake. You don't need to um, know if you had a snack or anything. No, but it was delicious. It's like blueberry cake and okay. then it has a layer of pistachio and cashew. Amazing. Oh, right. yeah. You like pistachios or cashews yeah, more? Yeah, both of them. Which one more though? Cashews, all right. Yeah, because pistachio can be salty, right? Sometimes. Yeah, but it's not But you bad. roast the cashew or you just eat them? Huh? Do you roast them? It's better yeah, if you roast them. I, I don't know. I, can, I like them raw as well. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. We've got that in common. It's good that you like nuts. I like nuts. Yeah. Mm. This was an opportunity to do something a little bit better. You know, you haven't blown it with this choice, but it's not the best option. Perfect, because it's a tough balance, right? Because you like one of the girls, but you don't want the other one to get bored. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to give more attention to the girl that you're more interested in, but make sure that the other one is happy and likes you, but that she also knows that that's the one that you like. So what do you chicas like to do in your spare time? How about you? <laughs> Anya? I like to dance. You're a dance? Oh, don't say that about yourself. Mm. What did you say? I like to dance. Ah, dancing, yeah, yeah. nice. Okay, what <laughs> yeah. else? And um, I go to the gym a lot. All right, cool. And how about you? Oh, I have so many interests. Um, I watch movies, I'm crazy about TV shows. I'm like yeah. a freak, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Funny, mm -hmm. And I also like love playing with my dog. But that's interesting actually because I was reading uh, this thing like a what was it in journal of psychology or something and okay. it said that um, people with pets and especially dogs and is it a boy or a girl? Or a, dog? a boy. Ah, perfect. It said that um, people with opposite sex pets who uh -huh. really like them and you said you did 
Um, it means they're really caring people in general in life. So. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting, Maybe. actually. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's the kind of idea that, you know, you meet someone and then if you find out they really like animals, they have a pet, yeah. it means they're, you know, you can trust them and they're probably huh. a good person. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. hey? Yeah. And is it true about her? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Whether you love animals or not, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that she does, right? So it's something that you shouldn't turn into a joke, be rude about or, you know, contradict. Why not say something positive about it? And there's an example that you can use all the time because a lot of girls love dogs or cats. Listen, can you tell her to just stop talking so much? She's just talking all the time. Is she always like that? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She doesn't really say yeah. much. Yeah. Huh? But she's Quiet. sweet. She seems very sweet. Yeah, she is. She's very nice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you go to the gym, yeah? Yeah. And what about you? You do some stuff? Uh, just gym? do some jogging, you know? That's pretty good. Jogging? Yeah. Like when you steal someone's wallet and you run away? <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, something like that. Okay, wait, let me check your muscles. Oh, that's oh, not bad actually. Right? Compare. No, pretty weak, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, check this out. <laughs> Amazing, yeah? Like a rock. Oh, right. Actually, you want to check it? Check it, it's hard as a diamond. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Amazing. This is always kind of playful and fun. Lots of girls will say they go to the gym and do stuff and this is a nice transition from there. It allows you to get a little bit physical and it usually brings out some smiles. So it's something you can try. Well done, it's the right choice. But you girls are in pretty good shape, so I think you must do more than jogging. You do some sports. Well, sometimes I play squash, but cool. not as often as I wish. <laughs> okay, I play a little bit as well. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. What else? Anything else? Uh, I used to play basketball when I was in college, yeah. but yeah, it was a long time ago. And... <laughs> hmm, that's cool as well. Yeah. You watch the NBA anymore. or you don't watch it? Uh, I used to, yeah. I was crazy about it, but... I have my job now and I don't have plenty of time, so mm -hmm. I don't watch it anymore All that right. often. Yeah. Girls, do you like psychology tests? Mm -hmm. Things um, like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we can try. Well, who yeah. doesn't? Come on. I don't know, it's interesting. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Have you done this one called Strawberry Field Psychology Test? No. Okay, try, no. try this right now with me, both of you, okay? okay? So maybe close your eyes, it will help. So close your eyes and you imagine you're walking in some beautiful place and then up ahead you see a field of strawberries. And tell me, um, there's a fence around it. How high is the fence? Just show me with your hands how high it is. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, nice one. All right, that's enough. And then, yeah, you can put your hand on. And then uh, the next thing, so you go in there and you want to eat some strawberries. How many strawberries do you eat? What's your answer? I will eat as many as I can. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, how about you? Me too. Loads of strawberries. Yeah. Loads okay. of strawberries. Ah, but then you've eaten all the strawberries, you're leaving, and then the farmer comes mm -hmm. and he's like, you ate all my strawberries. And then what do you say back to him? I would just say, I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you say? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> okay. All right, you can open your eyes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what it means, right? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So the first one, how high the fence is, that's your barrier to sex. Yeah? Like how open you are, because strawberries represent passion and stuff okay. for a woman. So yours was kind of here, so it's like medium. Yours was really high like a huge fence. So it means, you know, you're quite difficult to have sex with, basically. Mm. But anyway, you don't have to answer if that's true or not. But then the number of strawberries you eat is your sexual appetite. Oh, God! So some girls, maybe they say, oh, I always have like half a strawberry. And then she's like a girl that doesn't like sex. And then go have a few strawberries. But you, yeah. what did you say? You ate every strawberry in the world. Oh, or something, yeah, like, so. okay. all I wanted. Yeah. And then the final thing is what you say after sex. So when the farmer catches you. So what do you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, you're hungry after sex, right? It's normal. Yes. Oh, right, that's perfect. so funny. Seems perfect I, to I'm me. sorry. <laughs> I think that was dead on. Psychological test win. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting. Now, if you can be bothered to learn this, it actually is another thing that works. Again, it's prepared, um, so it's not ideal. We don't want you to just learn a bunch of stuff and, and go out and repeat it. But if you do find yourself in a boring situation, you know, a date that's not going so well, uh, talking to a girl and you think she's not that into you, why not have it ready? You know, it's quite interesting. And you can always just say it's a psychology test that you um, saw online, right? So what do you guys do? What about you, Anya? I have a fashion store. Oh yeah, selling clothes? Yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't work at the moment. Unemployed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sometimes unemployed, but it's by choice. So for you, like, you're, you're looking for something or you're just... Uh, Yes, I'm looking for something suitable for me, but... What's your dream job? I want to open a flower shop. Oh, that's nice, because when, when you yeah. said I don't do anything, I just thought you were at home painting nails, nails and <laughs> like, getting some no, food. No. To, and you buy your own drinks and stuff, so yeah, that's all right. You're still independent. Yeah, trying to. This is a nice, just um, playful answer. Good one. You girls seem really nice, but do you have any bad habits? No. Drug abuse? No. no. Cigarettes? No. Ah, alcohol. Got that's, you. That's not a bad habit. Cheers. No, no, cheers. Your liver's very happy with that. That's so. all right.